Welcome back to Pips and Chips. Today is part three of three of my Munchkin Dungeon unboxing. And in today's episode, we'll go ahead and unbox these add-ons. The one is the Cute as a Button expansion along with its bookmarks. The other one is the Board Silly expansion and along with the Crawling Hand miniature figure. If you missed any of the previous two videos in this series, go ahead and click the cards in the upper right hand corner. In the first video, you can see the unboxing of the core game and the epic board. And in video two, you will see the uh, box of holding and the side quest uh, expansions. So with that, let's dive right in. First up is the Munchkin Dungeon Cute as a Button add-on. I'll go ahead and take the cellophane off. Turn, turn this over, and we'll see a little bit of uh, what's in the back. Cute as a Button is an expansion for the Munchkin Dungeon board game for all heroes that, that who know that looks and fame walk hand in hand. The set adds four new, almost too cute to handle, roaming man monsters and the fearsome, in an adorable way, cute Zilla boss. Enjoy lovely threats and loot cards with two new mechanics, cuteness and pets. To give you more fame by the end of the game and to keep track of your looks with a, with the new Who Wants to Be the Cutest scoreboard. So go ahead and open this up. All right, so we have a little leaflet here, cute as a button, showing us the components. Color, we have... Um, how to play cute as a button. We have feeling cute and pets here and just credits on the back. Looks like we have a new scoreboard here, one sided scoreboard and five tokens that um, for the players matching their tokens. Let's see, we have uh, more cards. Go ahead and open this up. So as usual, we have our 24 new loot cards that specifically for this uh, expansion. And it looks like we have Ugly Duckling. We still have our fame points up here, but it looks like we have some cuteness uh, scoring up here as well. And I imagine this goes uh, up or down on the track, cuteness track. So again, we have items in green, uh, weapons in red, and armor in blue. And we have quite a few different cards there. Oh, we have a new card, purple. And these are pets. So I assume that we could get the wolf steed, the raptor steed, the eagle, the dragon, and the chicken, it looks like. So five new pets that you can get. All right. We have our room cards here again levels one two and three some with monsters some without so here's our new boss which would be cute zilla the three cards for cute zilla here and we have the blob goblin the nay slayer which looks like a pony with a sword in his mouth we have a teddy bear who looks a little beat up he's got a one eye missing and some patches and some stuffing coming out of him. We have a baby Cthulhu type monster that's uh, in the chibi style of the big anime type eyes and uh, heart on his chest. We have some new empty room ones, Uncle, uh, Ugly Duckling Crossing, the Reinforcement Camp, Rainbow Stables, imagine for the pony, the Wishing Well, and the Candy Store. So some new rooms. And of course, uh, new threat tokens, 24, or not threat tokens, threat cards. So we have monster, a white elephant. We have a reindeer, uh, more dog pile. We have traps. We have a new cuteness trap, which is an event card. Some duplicates from the previous uh, expansions. We have a cute angel that looks new. We have a chocolate bunny. We have a cute as a button event. Um, cat bats, an angry cat monster, 
and Curse Rabbit, another event, and Tiny Hands, uh, yet one more event. So there we go there. Let's go ahead and see what we have as far as miniatures go. Now, in case you're thinking about ordering this game at all, uh, I've played now a few times, and before I forget, I want to say that um, one of the complaints that I've been seeing on uh, Board Game Geek, and I kind of recognize it as well, is there's just not enough dice. The core set comes with six dice, and I know I mentioned in an earlier video, if uh, you didn't get the chance uh, to watch those, go ahead. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to get extra dice packs because I thought they were just aesthetic. But after playing the game a couple of times now uh, with friends and my wife, we've decided you definitely need a, an extra set of dice. Uh, one for the monsters, definitely. So if you get a chance, go for it and get some more dice. Anyway, here is our new boss monster, the cute Zilla. That's very nice. Here is our little pony with a sword in its mouth. There. And here is our green blob. Kind of reminds me of that uh, blob in Weird Science, if you ever can catch that movie from the uh, 1980s there. Little, little blob monster. We have our walking teddy bear. That's, uh, he's actually got an X out on one of his eyes right there. And you can see a patch right there. Pretty easy to paint that one up, I think. And, of course, we have Baby Cthulhu in the chibi style. He's got his little wings back there. Got the big, big eyes, little heart there on his stomach. And that is it for uh, the cuteness overload. So we'll move on to uh, the bookmarks for this now. So here we have some more uh, bookmarks. This came with the cute as a bun button add-on expansion. We'll go ahead and take the cellophane off just so we can obviously open it up and get rid of that glare or from the camera, the reflection. So let's see. I don't even know how many there are in here. So there are one, two, three. Well, this is just a little ad. This isn't anything right there. So we have one, two, three, four of these kind of like uh, orange pink colored uh, bookmarks. And we have four uh, blue, bluish green turquoise bookmarks. Each of them say you can tear this bookmark apart for the rest of the game. Uh, I don't know if I would ever do that. Like I mentioned last time, I would probably just photocopy these. And, uh, you know, if you have a color printer, scan them in and make them yourself. So you have the OP bookmark. It says tear this bookmark apart to gain three levels. Uh, you have the bookmark of the best armor we could find on the roadside, which is kind of funny. And you tear this apart for the rest of the game. Um, you have an additional damage and shield icon. Bookmark of no plant of no plants were harmed. You tear this up for the rest of the game. Uh, in any fight, you have two lightning bolts. And the technical bookmark or technical workout bookmark. You tear this one apart to defeat any one monster. And these are assuming just one-time use bookmarks. But again, I, I'm not going to tear mine up. All right, uh, we have the Ecological Bookmark of Darkness, which is uh, add one threat token to the threat pool and pass this bookmark to the active player, and they can use it once per game. The Bookmark of the Quack of Doom, which is give one shame token to a player with more fame than yourself. Pass this bookmark then to that player one use per game. Uh, bookmark for everything else. We have a picture of a credit card here, valid through eternity. And it says you tear this bookmark apart to gain all the loot in the loot display. So that would be four cards in the loot display. And finally, a friendly arson bookmark of friendly burns. Inflict one damage to a player with at least two life left. Pass this bookmark to that player 
one use per game. Unfortunately, this is take two for Board Silly because halfway through this portion of the recording, my document camera shut down. So I've already removed the cellophane from here, but I'll go ahead and turn it over and read the back. We have Board Silly is an expansion for the dungeon, uh, Munchkin Dungeon board game. Face four new roaming monsters, lots of dangerous threats, and the dreaded Meeple Boss, who is ready to show you who is king of the board. Start your collection by proudly placing your loot in the brand new shelf dashboards, keeping it safe from your opponents, and see which collector will gain the most fame by the end of the game. So go ahead and open this up. Here is our little leaflet showing us how to play with the this add-on here. We'll talk about our collection board and the new dashboard here and new scoring mechanisms over on this side and just credits on the back. Here is our five new shelf dashboards, one for each player and uh, just one sided here. And it looks like you get a plus one fame for every weapon, one for every armor, and one for every item. Uh, minus three fame if, if these shelf spaces are empty. And it looks like possibly if you fill these up, you get an additional two fame, possibly if you have a full collection. We have our cards here. Set this up to the side for a second. And we have... Um, new loot cards which is pretty much standard for all the add-ons here Let's see so again uh, we have a cyan meeple brown meeple uh, become super munchkin an item uh, rising bun ketchup mechanism king's burger orange meeple a resource cube which is an item this is kind of new uh, discard this item to gain two coins or one potion we have a Meeple Cannon, which is a weapon. We have a Meeple Scepter of Absolute Power. It's also a weapon for one lightning bolt. Deal one damage for each different colored Meeple you have in your play area. That's pretty nice. So I guess the more Meeples you collect, the uh, stronger your weapon becomes. Uh, Munchkin Dungeon. Got an item here worth three of fame if displayed in your collection. Some new kind of zany armor. We have a golden meeple, more resource cubes. We have a kingmaker, wand of analysis paralysis. We have some more weapons and more armor. And we'll go ahead and move on. All right, we have um, our starting, oh, well, only one dungeon card here for level one. We have an empty room, which is a gateway couple level two cards. We have the Gamer's Cave and the Game Show Studio. And then a couple level three ones. We have the Meeple Village and the Gathering of the Geeks. And then our couple new monster rooms for level two. We have the Shrieking Geek and the Old Board Game Reviewer. And level three, we have the loaded die and the comment troll. That's kind of funny. All right, and I assume this is our new boss monster here, the Meeple Boss. Yep, we have three three cards there, one for each level, one, two, and three for the Meeple Boss. And I can't get this card out, but okay, there we go. We have 24 new threat cards as well. Cultist of the New, a few of those. We have the Dog of War, more Dog Pile, it's a Euro game event, more Wandering Monsters, take that. So we have a couple of re repetitive, uh, repetitive cards that we see from the core set here, but otherwise, um, let's see, Zombie Sid, Abstractness, Co-op with a Traitor, uh, Variable Player Powers, Dice Placement, this is a uh, another repeat card, Blood Rage, Game Store Manager, Game Show Host, that's funny, uh, Wandering Monster, more of those, I don't understand the rules, we treat damage as shields and shields as damage during this fight. 
This game is unbalanced. You must keep your loot cards, not your collection, balanced on your head, arms, and shoulders during this fight. Any loot that falls is discarded, or you gain one shame token. Ooh, so they're introducing some dexterity into this game, some physical dexterity. And we have Richard the Kittenheart. When played, the monster or the player with the most coins give half of their coins rounded down to the player with the least amount of coins. All right, those are our threat tokens, or threat cards, excuse me. And now let's go ahead and look at our, our miniatures here. Well, that didn't work out for me, did it? it fell out right there. So we have the King Star. We have the big meeple right there. Like how spikes, he actually, let me turn that sideways. You can see his spikes actually kind of stick out from his body right there. So we have that one. We have our shrieking geek. He's yelling and there's his tongue. There's kind of a sideway glance of him, of him just screaming and his tongue going in all directions. We have our comment troll. I'm sure that you'll see a lot of these guys on Twitter quite a bit. Right, we have our loaded dice. There's kind of like a Frankenstein dice. That should be kind of fun to uh, roll or uh, paint up all those different pips on there. But, and then we have our little goblin here that looks like he's smashing something with a club. Kind of hard to see that one there. Anyway, those are the miniatures for Board Silly. And last but not least, we have our Munchkin Dungeon Crawling Hand Exclusive. So this is a just a figure here. Actually comes with some cards, which is pretty nice. Oh, it's a level two uh, monster. And he comes with his own single card for a room. You can incorporate that, I guess, into any game without having any expansion. And there it is. It's just a crawling hand. It'd be kind of fun to paint that one up. Relatively easy. That hard. Anyway, that is it for this unboxing. So hopefully uh, you've enjoyed. Again, if you missed any of those previous video episodes, go ahead and go back to my channel. And you can watch those. Anyway, this is Jason for Pips and Chits, and I hope you enjoy this unboxing. If so, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, uh, have a great day.